What's going on, Cubs, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Bear Witness, and we are in our second episode of Red Dead Redemption. Now, you guys like the first episode? I That's awesome, and I'm so glad, and welcome back. So, we're in the next mission. New, old, new friends, old problems. So, we just got shot last game, or last episode. So, our friend, uh, dearest old Barney, is coming to help out. So, let's uh, let this cutscene run, and I'll see you guys afterward. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, a long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, <coughs> just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, guys. Here we go. Some real gameplay. Let's see if we can't find a way. I think one of these areas... Oh, do we not get to do that yet? I was about to say, I think one of these areas lets me... Change outfit because y'all saw we got the deadly assassin outfit. Okay, Bonnie. I'm here. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Back in the saddle again. There's the foreman's office. Do I get the black horse? Where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. Mm. Come on. Where are we going, Bonnie? This, this horse is nice as shit. You want is the general store. Move with you won't some urgency. High fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't oh, think store. I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impression. She just assumes I'm a criminal. Just because I got shot. 
That's the train set. Oh, I guess I do Make know the sure Bill Williamson like gang the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a train station right in her ranch. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Let's go! Well, are we going inside? <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Looks like someone's got the hots from Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. I love how she just trusts Ready, a stranger with me. Let's mount up and okay. control the ranch. Like, what stops me from popping a cap in your left cheek, girl? But I decided that I was going to be a good guy. I am the law. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Come. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Can I have all these actually? Let's mount up and control the rest of the property. Oh no, they won't let me skin them. <coughs> Excuse me. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. This? It ain't never easy living off the nope. land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. They don't want to let me skin anything. But I want to get that hunter's outfit. Yeah. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Couldn't be 
far. It should be like right here. Let's go. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Why, thank you, Miss McFarland. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. I skipped through all that. All I wanted to do was. Okay, so that's. That's just ammo, correct? Is there nowhere to change poison? Oh, there it is. Change outfit. Oh! It's. It's. Oh, okay, I see. Well, we're not wearing gentlemen. Alright. Out of curiosity, is there any other outfits? There's lots of outfits. Okay, let's go do another bonding mission. Because we've only done a little bit. Oh shit! Fine. Oh, five and ten. Literally wouldn't have come all the way over here if I knew it was between five and ten. So, Hello, okay. sir. Gotta go all the way back over here. What are you doing at my? You stay out. Is this between 5 a.m.? I don't know how to. I can get it. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? Ah, oh, I skipped the cutscene, damn it. Alright, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Well then. Sorry, Mr. My apologies. Come on! Now, if you, I was about to say, if you step in front of my horse and get run over, that's not my fault. On the count of three, <coughs> three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! I'm about to win the hell out of this race. Come on, boy! Come on! Yep, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Why stand in the back? Come on! Come on! You'll have come on. That. I'm catching up to you. Better stop talking shit. Yeah! Yeah! Give me one of these good turns, and you're all mine. And he takes the lead. Let's pick up the pace. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Are you saving the best for last? Oh my God, she's getting. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Yeah, he's talking shit now. How you doing back there? Would you like me oh, to God. slow down? Thought I was about to go out of control right there. Should I wait for you to catch up? Yeah. Come on. No! No! Yeah. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back here! Don't go easy on me! I'll see you just take the lead and start talking shit again. This sure beats milk and cows! Come on! Isn't this jolly? Yeah! Come on, come on! Come on! This is gonna be close! Girl, if you don't move out my way! You're not as bad as I thought you'd be! Oh my god. Call yourself a rancher! Dude, I thought I was gonna lose. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Well, there you go, guys. That'll be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what was your favorite part. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.